What's up, freaks? We are getting set up for a strength boot camp session here. All you're gonna need is a pair of dumbbells. We are gonna use some bands to get warmed up. If you don't have bands to warm up, you could just do the stretches for your shoulders. We're gonna go through a band circuit to get the upper body warmed up, some lower body stretching to get the lower body warmed up. So in that time, if you don't have some dumbbells, get a pair of dumbbells. All you need is one pair of dumbbells. There are different exercises, like think of a, a chest press, but also a bicep curl. So you, you might wanna have two different types of weights for that. So if you have multiple sets of weights, just get different weights out that, that you might have to have them ready. While we're doing this band warm up, you can do some stretching while you're getting your dumbbells set up, while you're getting rolling, do what you gotta do. We're gonna jump on some bands right away, do some shoulder rotator cuffs, some upper body, full body warm ups, and then we're gonna jump right to these rounds. We're gonna take a good amount of time to warm up because once we start the rounds, they're gonna be very long rounds. They're gonna have 12 sets straight through with zero break on these, on, with of all strength exercises. So you're gonna get, your muscles gonna be burning, plus it's gonna get your heart rate up, gonna get you out of breath, combining some conditioning with the strength. So get a few different pairs of weights of dumbbells, think of chest press, think of squats, think of deadlifts, think of bicep curls and shoulder presses, that's the type of stuff. We're gonna do different variations of all of those. So get your weight set. If you have a band set up to a pole or a door, doorknob, whatever it is, we're gonna start with a, a band rotator cuff warm up. We're gonna fly through it. You can see right here, so I have a band that's attached to the, to the side here. We're gonna start with our right arm. Don't forget Facebook and Instagram, everything is backwards. So I'm facing away from you, but this is my right arm and I'm rotating it in across my stomach. My elbow's glued to my side. I'm just hitting six of each, that's it. Easy, just to get warmed up. Then I flip around, now my left arm. So my elbow is stuck to the side and I'm just rotating across. This is just loosening up my shoulder, getting ready for all the lifting and all the hundreds of push-ups we're gonna add in. Yes, I said hundreds. We're gonna add hundreds of push-ups into our strength routine. Now I'm gonna stay right here, put in my right arm and rotate out. Just getting deep inside this shoulder, rotator cuff loosened up. I literally do this routine, this band shoulder routine before every single workout, before strength, before cardio, before boxing. I do this seven days per week. Flip around, left arm rotating out now. Out is always gonna be a little harder than in. And we're just going literally five or six of each. You can go up to eight, whatever. Now we're gonna go forward. So the band is behind me and I'm rotating 90 degrees, elbow straight out from my shoulder, rotating forward with the right arm. If you don't have a band, just go through the air. You can even do this literally through the air with a real light dumbbell just to loosen up your shoulders. Now let's go left arm forward, rotating forward. So see it's a 90 degree bend in my elbow, coming until I'm, I'm flat parallel to the floor. And same thing, now flip around, right arm rotating back, up high and back. Warming up deep, deep, deep in this shoulder, getting ready for work. And left arm, same thing. Rotate it back. And that's it for those, literally just four quick sets. Get a quick stretch of your shoulder. Fling that chest open, stretch your shoulder out, fling it. So again, all you need is, is a pair of dumbbells, maybe a couple different variations of weights for different exercises. So you have time now to get them while we're getting here warmed up and getting rolling. So you're gonna grab your band again. If you have a, a little heavier of a band, go for it. If you have to use the same band, use the same band. We're gonna now warm up all of our basic exercises. We're gonna start with the chest press. So out, out 90 degrees. My legs are squared up, straight across each other, not staggering my stance. I'm just gonna hit about eight to 10 right arm chest press. Breathe out. So get into the breathing rhythm. When you push out, exhale in through your nose, coming back. Drive it, drive it, stick that chest out, and just flip right over to the left arm, left arm chest press. Drive it out. This is getting our body ready to work. We don't want to just jump right into the work, we need to get warmed up. Flip around, you're gonna do a right arm row. Palm could be in, palm could be down, up, you could twist with it, whatever, it doesn't matter as long as you're rowing with control. Now it's a pulling movement, so the breathing is gonna be the exact opposite. Exhale. As you bring it back, pull it back. A little pause and squeeze in your back, behind your shoulder, your lats. Strong grip, strong form, strong bicep. Switch over, left arm. So we're just flying through. We're just flowing through. He's getting the body freaking moving, warming up all your joints, your chest, your shoulders, your triceps, your back. Thighs, tries, all your joints. And that's good. We're going to go with our right arm, straight out to our side. Even though my back is to you, you'll see when I flip around. 
And do a single arm chest fly. Just bring it into the center of the chest. Well, I'm just Squeeze it into the center of the chest. Again, we only need like eight of these. Let's get all of our muscles pumped up. Get some blood flowing. Now left arm. So you can see that band is straight out to my side. And I'm bringing it into the center of the chest. Just like if I was bringing two arms together. Squeeze it in. Resist it out. I'm going to face in towards my band. I'm going to do a single arm pullover. Right here. Just pulling straight down to the side of my leg. Warm up that lat, that tricep. Get some more movement in the shoulder in every different angle, every plane. Switch the left arm. Just pull it over, breathe it out. It's a quick short sets. Just get moving. And right back to the right arm. Arm up, bicep curl. We're only going to do six of these. Just to get the elbows, the joints, the bodies, thighs moving up. We don't need a ton. We can get plenty of work in on the arms during the workout. Left arm, bicep curl. And lean over, tricep. Elbow stuck to your side, kick it back. Right arm, tricep. And stand up straight, you got a position. Left arm, kick it. Squeeze those tries, getting ready. You're gonna do lots of push ups, lots of bent chest presses. A lot of shoulder press is good. Put that down. Let's rotate those shoulders forward. Fling them forward. And fling them back. Come in and out. Catch it for a stretch. Fling it. Catch it. Get ready to roll. So listen, here's how it's going to go. There's going to be six exercises, all with dumbbells. Six exercises in a row. After every one of those six, we are going to do a set of push-ups. I'm going to be doing ten. He's going to be doing like five, six, eight, somewhere around there. Just a short set, shorter than you normally could do because it's going to be every single exercise is going to be followed by a set of push-ups. So all six of those dumbbell exercises has a set of push-ups in between each. So that means six sets of push-ups built into that round. It's going to be a long round. It's going to be a pretty tough round. But shake it out, stretch it out, get ready, get mentally, physically prepared for it, and have your dumbbells ready. Have different variations of your dumbbells ready for different exercises. Especially this first round, you probably want to go a little lighter than the rest of the rounds because you want to get your ass warmed up before you start jumping straight into your 100 pound dumbbells and all that other shit. So, start off pretty light. Oh, take all sharp objects and weapons and blades out of your pockets. Get your dumbbells, whatever you need, starting with a chest press. So, we're going to start on our backs, on the floor, for a chest press. It's going to go chest press, squat, bent over row, standing shoulder press, dumbbell deadlift, and then bicep curl. So realize you need a couple different weights for those and just have them ready. Let's do it. We're starting with chest press. We're going. And don't forget, we're adding a freaking set of push-ups in between after every single set. There's going to be certain points in this routine. Those push-ups are going to suck. Those rounds are going to suck when you have four, th three, four upper body exercises in a row. But... You're going to suck it up, you're going to deal with it. So we're going to start with chest press on your back. Grab your dumbbells. We're going right on the floor here. We're not even going on a bench. You don't even need a bench. Right here. And press it up. Let's do it. Breathe out as you push up. Tap your elbows to the floor. Exhale, strong exhale. It's just the first round. You should be on lighter weight. Just get warmed up. We're only going about 12 this first set. Good. I'm here. You got space. I'm here to see the camera. I'm over something. I got space here. The camera goes pretty wide. It goes wide, but it's short. All right, we're going to flip right over for push ups. Pick your number for push ups and try to get that same number, whether it's 5, 8, 10. I'm going to be doing 10 at the reset right away. Flip for those 10 push ups. Against, keep, keep with your light weight because we are just getting started. It's just the first round. This is kind of your warm up round to get into the flow. You're going to hold the weight of your chest straight up and down, elbows in tight, chest out, and just sit back on the hips and heels. Usually we do the first round, so that's get it right here. You know, usually the first round we wouldn't have like, get it here, we're right to it. Okay. We're not going to get as many rounds as usual. In through the nose down, out through the mouth up. Inhale, exhale, straight. 
Control, sit back on the hips and heels, your upper body. Look, I'm not letting that weight pull my chest forward. Sit your ass back like you're about to sit on a toilet bowl and take a dump. Put the nose down, out of the mouth up. Let's go two more. Last one, boom. Right to another set of push-ups. The push-ups are gonna suck. Especially if you've been doing, we've been doing two to 300 push-ups every single day. Get ready for our 24 hour push-up challenge. So they're gonna suck. Eight, nine, 10. Up on your feet with your dumbbells for bent over rows. We're gonna do a few different variations of this stuff today. Alternating arm, single arm. This first round is all just double arm. So grab your weight. Lean over at the waist, double arm row. We're just going to about 12. Nice and slow. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Tight squeeze, tight grip. Good. Right back down to push ups. That sucks. 10 push ups. But your, your heart rate sure should be getting up. You're doing this the right way. Your muscles sure need to be feeling it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are going overhead shoulder press. So if you have lighter dumbbells, this is the time to do them. You don't want to be chest pressing and shoulder pressing with the same weight unless you absolutely need to. Then you just make sure you're doing, changing your reps up. So we're going shoulder press. Drive it up. Three more. First round's going short sets, especially on the shoulders. So get plenty of work on the presses and the push-ups that you're about to end again. Yeah, the push-ups already freaking suck. This is the first round. This is just the first round. Shake it in between if you have to. Do what you gotta do. Let's go, push. I'm going to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, if you notice we're doing real push-ups. Our chest is touching the floor every single rep. Arms are extending every single rep. Feet are together, touching heel to heel, toe to toe, every single freaking rep. We're going to deadlift. Just start with one dumbbell, so it's the first round, so you don't need to go crazy. We're just going to hold it right here. I'll go from the sides to the dumbbells we're doing. Double and everything. Lean over at the waist, tap it to the floor, and drive it. See a little bend in the knees, my back is straight, and hinge at the hips to come up. Work in the hamstrings, glutes, lower back. Start with just one dumbbell there, so it's the first round. We'll add more weight in later as we go. Tap it, drive it. Breathe it out. Go three more. Last one. Done. And push-ups. No, not time. Push-ups, let's do it. Right away, every set has set freaking push-ups. Then, and we're going to double arm bicep curls with your lighter weight. If you don't have dumbbells at home, even if you have a gym membership, whatever you have, every human should have a pair of dumbbells at home and basic exercise gear so you never have an excuse for not working out. The gym is closed, they're making you wear a mask, the hours don't work for you, whatever. All you need is a pair of dumbbells. You can see that's all we have today. Some dumbbells. And we're getting it in. You see on the cardio days, half the time we don't use any equipment. More than half the time. Your body weight only. Only freaking piece of equipment you need is your body, your mind. That's it. Three more. Last one. Boom. Finishing off the round. I'm going to get a break right after this. This is the 12th set. Push-ups for 10. Let's do it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and time. Shake it, shake it, shake it out. 
take a break, recover, stretch the chest, stretch the shoulders, stretch the tries, stretch the quads, strip the clothes, because it should be getting hot and getting warm. Body temperature should be up. Your heart rate should be up. Your muscles should be getting pumped up. Let's do it. Have my Herbalife and True Lean combined. Yes, bring dumbbells with you everywhere you go. I keep literally in my truck. I keep a few different pairs of dumbbells, a few different medicine balls, a full set of bands, a TRX. I keep in a compartment in my truck. All the time, it just stays there. I never take out, no matter where I am, but I have my car. I have a full little mini gym with me. Stretch it out, because these are long rounds. And let me tell you, if you've already done Mixed into your routine, you've already done six sets. So if you've been sticking to 10, you've already done 60 freaking push-ups already. Think about that. And those are just the bonus sets that you added in. And I'm gonna keep stripping, so feel free to throw some dollar freaking bills into the floor. And you might be able to see me trip and bust my ass as I'm balancing on one leg, taking this off. I wouldn't make a very graceful profession out of that. All right, so we're gonna go and back to the chest press. If you're feeling good, if you're feeling warmed up, increase your weight a little bit on the chest press. Or if you just wanna bang out extra reps, like we're gonna keep it pretty light. Also know that you have those push-ups after every set, you're gonna get plenty of upper body work. So you wanna make sure you have, go and pick it, choosing the right weight for every exercise. Make sure you are choosing the right weight. Yes, his shoes. Oh yeah, mine are green and blue, his are gray and blue. We share shoes, it makes it easier. That'd be great if you were the same size shoe, if you just don't have to buy so many damn pairs of shoes. That'd be good. All right, let's do it. Let's get on the floor for chest press. I'm gonna bump the weight up a little bit. Get a little bit of a challenge. It's gonna make it hard on the push-ups, but that's what we're here for. We're not here for easy shit, we choose hard shit. So let's go, get set up on the floor. Get your dumbbells ready. Round number two, and these are long ass rounds, so we're not gonna need very many rounds in. Think about it, you already added 60 extra freaking push-ups in to your six sets. Let's do it, chest press. At least 12 to 15 here. With your increased weight, not worrying about the push-ups you have to do, you're putting out every freaking set. Every set going all out. Pump it, pump it, big chest. Exhale as you push it up. Let's go a few more. Oh yeah, those push-ups are going to be fun after that. We did higher weight and more reps. Spin it out, show off your white boy break dancing moves over to the push-up position. And let's do it. Ten push-ups. Oh yeah. Five. Oh yeah, those are gonna suck this round, every round from here. All right, go right to the squat. Get your dumbbells for squats. Let's do it, right into it. Put your dumbbell up in your chest. Hold it tight. Over here in California, it's only 6.30. This little freak show over here woke up at 5.30 before school just to get his workout in. Normally we work out on Wednesdays together, after he's done with school, I wait till then, we do our workout together, once I'm done with my, all my morning work. But today, I was doing it here with you, today on the, the class, he knew that, he told me to wake him up at 5.30. It's a little freak show, got up at 5.30, just to get a session in. And I'm babbling, I have no clue how many I did of these. So we'll call it three more. There's one. Two. Even though squats are going to be hard to do the push-ups now, the squats are supposed to be a break for the arms. But just holding that freaking weight. I'm trying to come up here to see if you have any. Yes, good AM habit. Donna Barada's in. Jump in, grab your dumbbells, let's roll. Barada. 10 push ups, let's go. Two, three, four, nine, ten. We're gonna drop for the bench over rows. This 
round, we're going to be alternating arms. Look, both arms are moving. Holding your core tight. I'll be using the increased weight also. This is going to suck. This is going to suck. Alternate. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. At least 12 each side, at least. Five, five. Don't swing the body. Ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. Oh yeah! You should be out of breath. We are taking the strength and building condition, building strength, endurance here. Drop right away for your ten push-ups. Hell yeah! Getting cold in here no more. You cold? I'm freaking sweating already. Ten, two, three, four. Eight, nine, ten. You do squats here. The squats froze. Shoulder press. We're gonna go palms in on this set. Alternating arms on the shoulder press. Palms in. Should be your lighter weights. Don't try your heavier chest press weight. It's just not gonna work. It's not even good for you. Shit. <laughs> you can't do fifty pounds. Might be off for a long set. I can do it. Won't be pretty. Let's go. Alternating arms. Nice and slow. Facebook, I'm a little cut off, so I'll squat down like I'm taking a, a dump. <laughs> Facebook angles are just weird on these lives when you go across. <sighs> Drive it. But Facebook has to go, it's better to make the videos across because they're adding it onto YouTube and stuff. They want it across. <sighs> and good. So after those shoulder presses, your arms are going to be nice and fried. Drop for 10 more push ups. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Five. Hey. 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 Nine. Ten. All oh, those are starting to suck. Suck in a good way. Excellent levels of suckery. Deadlift. We're taking our two heavier dumbbells. We're going to go two this time. We're not going to need to do a ton of them. So stuff like deadlifts, we're not going to usually go as high rep. As you are for like chest press or bicep curl. It's just such a big major movement. Deadlift, lean over at the waist, stand up tall. <sighs> Drive it. This little freak's got 20 pounds in each hand. 40. So he's like 50% of his body weight. This little freak show. Let's go four more. Drive the hips, hamstrings, glutes, lower back. I don't know, that did three. said four, that did three. All right, hold on. All right, drop. Push-ups. Oh, yeah. This is strength endurance. This is strength conditioning. This is how you build lean muscle and burn fat at the same time. This is how you stay in shape all year round. Man. And bicep curls. Alternating arms. Oh, you knew it. Look at that. Kid read my mind. He just knows the way this shit goes. Alternate curls. Let's do it. Curls for the girls. Control it. Elbow stuck to your sides. Nice and slow. They're crossing paths in the middle. You're not resting one arm at the bottom. I see you out there resting that arm at the bottom. 11, 11, 12, I think, 12, 13, made that shit up totally. It just felt like an 11. 15, and in our final 10 push-ups, and that's the round. And technically, that could really even be the freaking workout if we had to. Holy shit. But we're not even halfway there. But I feel like I'm full way there. 10, 2, Shake it out, strip off some more clothing because I'm freaking dripping sweat and it stuck to me. Just freaking ripped my shoulder trying to get a shirt off because it was stuck. What's going on, freaks? Any questions, comments, put them down below. Still doing sissy push ups. You know what you'll be better off doing? Instead of like if you're doing push ups from your knees, because we've done 
tests on it and studies on it literally over the last 20 years. And women would do push-ups on their knees because they couldn't do regular push-ups. And the thing is, they do push-ups on their knees for years. And after years of doing them on their knees, still not strong enough to do regular push-ups. So it wasn't building the right type of strength, the right type of core strength, the right type of balance to get up to a real push-up. So they were just stuck doing it on their knees pretty much for life. So what you're better off doing is finding a ledge, a chair, whatever. What the hell? I'm gonna find something. So here we go. A chair. So finding like a chair or a ledge, an edge of something, and modifying it so you have an angle and coming down here. So you're still straight. So it's still the same mechanics of a push-up. If it's too hard still, put your feet apart. Gives you more of a base. So if you widen your feet, it's going to make it easier. Elevate it, it's going to make it easier. Also, you don't have to go way down. Or maybe you could do it on the floor. Just go in the push-up position on the floor, but put your feet wide and apart. And listen, only go one inch down. A one-inch push-up, regular position on the floor, is going to make you ten times stronger than, than doing them on your knees. I promise you. Like, think about it like this. Shit, and I have to demonstrate this on the break. And then we still have 60 push-ups to do the round, but it's all good. Look, go with your feet apart, wide, and literally here. And don't worry, that's not a real push-up. Every week, go down another half an inch. See what you can get. See what you can do. Always do that. It's going to get you much stronger. It's going to build up your core a different way and build up the strength and stability. All right, shake it out. Hydrate. Get ready for the next round. Actually, please ask some more questions so I have an excuse to take a longer break. Because I'm not ready for 60 more push-ups, I'll tell you that. Freaking pumped up already. Two rounds. But think about it, that's 12, 12 sets per round. So we've done 24 sets already. And that doesn't include all the band warm-up we did. 24 sets of actual work already in, in I don't even know, not less than 30 minutes because the whole first eight, nine minutes was warming up, stretching and all that good stuff. So we got like 24 sets in like 24 minutes. Straight through. Minimal break in between, no break during the round. That's, we did 12 straight sets, literally just switching out the weight, hitting the deck for some push-ups. Hydrate. Stretch your chest, stretch your shoulders, stretch your tries. Adjust your weight, you kind of felt exercises that felt too easy for the weight you had. Or maybe some felt too hard. Do what this freak show is doing. He's got a whole bunch of different weights here. So he can switch it out. And he kind of has a good feel for what's too heavy, too light. I didn't have to tell him. Kids on autopilot. Little freak show. <laughs> like he knows if something's too heavy, too light. And he'll just adjust it by the exact amount of pounds that's going to make it feel good for the amount of reps that we're doing. I don't know how he does it. Some weird shit. Alright. Enough of that babbling. Enough of the babbling. But it was a good excuse to take some break. Yes, little freak is killing it here. First thing in the morning before school, getting up to lift before school. And we'll be doing some cardio later tonight. Either some biking, some hill runs, or a rowing machine tonight. Inspiration. It is inspiration to me. All right, let's do it. Let's get down on the floor for our chest press. Let's get set up. Get your heavier weight, whatever weight you chose. And listen, this round of chest, we're going to attempt to alternate it. It's a little weird alternate because it's going to pull your body side to side, but we're going to try it out. So you're going to alternate your chest press with both arms moving the entire time. If you can't get the right balance and stability with both arms moving, hold one arm up and do one at a time. I'll show you both ways during the set, during the round. So get on your back, get your dumbbells, both arms are going to be moving. So while one, one is up, one is down, and they just cross paths, they just switch. Slowly controlled. If you start losing it with them both moving like this, you do this. Hold both up. Bring one down and right back up. Hold the other one up. Bring it down, right back up. Once it's up, you bring the other one down. Or you can let them both move at the same time. Crossing paths in the middle instead of one at a time. Try both ways. Mix it up halfway through. Challenge yourself. Trick yourself. See, just when the chest thought it had it down and was going to be easy, you switch shit up and you confuse the shit out of your muscles. One more each side. 
Back to some awesome 
five push-ups, dude. Let's go. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. This is suckery. Ha. 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 Ho. Ha. Position, like looking at your feet. Screw that. My 10, I'm done. I'm plopped. Knee hits the floor. Screw all that shit. Alright, we are on. Deadlift. Get your weight. If you're going heavier, you only need 8, 10, 12 deadlift. You don't need a ton. Reach the shoulder. Deadlift. Snap out of the kid, you're losing it. You're losing it worse than me now. What do you have there? You have 25, you weirdo. Kid's got 25 pounds in each hand. He's a freak. I only have 50 pounds in each hand. And this little shit has 25 pounds in each hand. Holy shit. Grab some tight. Back straight. You don't need a ton when you're going a little heavier. 8, 10, 12, that's all you need. your shoulders, stretch your chest, get a break, hydrate. We are about to, we're just going to do one more round. That's all you got to do is one more round. And after that, we might throw in some abs and core because we're all good on time. Little Freak doesn't have to be to school for another almost hour. So we'll be good. We are good. So we're going to get a whole full round, all 12 sets. And then we're going to mix in some core to burn out at the end. Of course, with some more push-ups, suckers. Huh. So we've already done 180 freaking push-ups, plus you've done 18 sets of dumbbells. Like, so first of all, give yourself some freaking credit. Give yourself a hairy knuckle freaking fist bump for doing what you just did in such a short amount of time. And let me tell you, this type of training, we don't have to go super heavy. This is how you stay sh in shape and stay fit all year round. Someone asked me one time, how many months of the year do you stay in shape? I said, what a dumb fucking question that is. 12 months a year. Why would I want to intentionally not be in shape? Intentionally just dig myself in a hole. Dig yourself in a hole for two months. It's going to take two months to dig out of. Hell no. You stay in shape. You stay focused. You stay disciplined all year round. If you're always on your A game. You never have to get on your A game. You should always be a couple weeks from your tip top leanest possible shape. Not so you have to be shredded and ripped all year round. That's only gonna, when you get super shredded levels, that's only going to last a, a couple of days or weeks. 
but you should be in shape and fit and conditioned, well-rounded all year round, where you can go and put, jump into any kind of sport or activity and have the energy and, and the endurance and the strength, the coordination, whether it's going for a 120 mile bike ride or playing a pickup game of basketball or playing football out in the street or going to do some hill sprints or going for a, a 15 mile hike in the mountains, that's what you need to be trained for. Everything, all year round. This is how you do it, this type of training. It's, it's supposed to be hard. If it was easy, everyone would be there. But you are part of the top few percent that is getting your ass up early in the morning making this shit happen. All right, that was a good little babbling speech to give my shoulders a little more break. Because yesterday we did two classes where we added push-ups into both classes, so we are feeling it today. One more freaking round, freak shows, and we're good on time. So I'm gonna give you a little extra break and a little extra recovery before we do this last round because you need it. You need that rest and recovery. We could go straight through with no break, but it's gonna be a shitty round. It doesn't make any sense. So you get recovery, so you can freaking attack it. It's 12 straight sets. Like, if you're not sweating, I'm, I'm dripping sweat right now. If you're not sweating doing even your strength workouts, you're not going hard enough. If your goal is to stay fit, in shape, conditioned, possibly lose weight, looking good, feeling good and healthy, you should be sweating every single session. And we're in a garage, it was pretty freaking cold this morning in here, and we are dripping sweat. But in about 30 seconds, we got a lot of time left, so we're good. We are good. We flew through those first three rounds. Flew through them. Back to chest press. We're going just to normal. Knowing that it's the last set, what I want you to do is completely burn out on this chest press. If that means you have to wait a little longer and keep going even after I stop. That whatever weight you have, I want you to burn out. If you can get 15, get 15. You can get to 20, 25, 30, especially after this break. I want that set of push-ups, that set of 10 push-ups after this first set of chest press to be damn near impossible. You're still going to get it because you're a fucking savage, you're a freak, and you're a warrior. And you don't make excuses, but we are going to go so hard on this chest press, completely burn yourself out on this last set of chest press, that those push-ups are going to be freaking brutal to get 10. Let's do it. We're going to get what we can. I don't know if it's going to be 30. You can set a goal for a number for yourself, but don't stop just to get to that number. Stop because you're done. Don't stop because of a wreck. Stop because of a work. Stop because of a work. All right. Let's see what we got left in there. Burning these out. Going in three, two, one. Let's do it. Pump them out. Pump it. Pump it. Last set of these. Depending on, 
depending on the weight you have. If you're doing body weight, you need 20, 25, 30. If you have a light weight, you need to do 20, 25, 30. Two more. Breathe it out. Ha! Right back to the floor. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ten push ups, suckers. Ten push ups, suckers! Can't imagine why all the neighbors hate us. No one invites me over for tea and crackers. Tea and crackers? Hurry! Four. Five. Six. Eight. Seven. Eight. Nine. I want to give you an example of something. Look how easy I just did that ten push ups. Look how easy I just did that ten push ups. Here's a quick lesson for you. Shit gets hard in your day and in life, right? That last set of push ups before that was fucking hard. After the chest press. It would make you think, it could, you could tell yourself in your head, alright, I'm done with push-ups of the day, I can't do anymore. But look, just by doing a set of squats, give myself a little recovery. Think about that in your day, when shit's going wrong, and it looks like you can't win that day. Slow down for a second, clear your head. Let your brain freaking recover. And then you know what? You get right back on track. You get right back into the trajectory towards your goals, your dreams, where you deserve to be. Don't let little speed bumps derail you and, and fuck with your mind. Look how easy I did that set of 10 push-ups compared to the one right before that. I could have easily shut down and said, you know what, we're done push-ups for the day. We're done with it. Think about that. So, let's do it, let's get after it. What are we on here? So I, we just did squats, push-ups. We are on bent arm rows. We're back to alternating. Sticking with the heavy weight and alternating. Let's do it. Alternate size. Seven, eight, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-one. Cause you thought it was gonna be twenty, but have to do next one, sucker. All right. Just don't mind me while my head's fucking spinning in circles. Don't mind me. But that's what I look for every day. That's why we do this shit. Push yourself to levels you didn't know you were capable of. Let's go, 10 more push-ups. No problem, look at this, easy, look. Bam, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at that, look at that. Look at that shit, how your body just refocuses and gets back on track, adapts and overcomes, makes shit easier. We're over 200 push-ups already. We're over 20-something sets of dumbbells. And we're banging out sets of push-ups like they're nothing. Has nothing to do with the physical, has to do 100% with the fucking mental. And with me stalling by talking to him teams, he sets to give me an extra 10 seconds of break. Right? What do we got? Rows, deadlift, right? No. No, shoulder press. Going back to alternating arms on the shoulder press. You can go palms forward, palms in. Whatever works. Drive it. Drive it. Pump it out. What are you on? Huh? What are you on? I have no idea. That will come 11. 14. 15. Good. Right back down. Push ups. You know they're always going to be hard after the overhead shoulder press. A little harder. But we already know now. We've already crossed that threshold of shit being hard. And it's back to being easy. You hit that level. You flip the switch. I'm not sure of shit. I don't know if that's nine or ten, some do one extra. When in doubt, do freaking extra. If you're not sure if you hit your number. You do extra just to make sure. That's the way you need to do it. That is the way you need to do it. What do we got here? America Styles. Semper Fi. What's up, my man? Alright. We are on deadlift. Final set of deadlift. Scoop them up. Two. Lean over at the waist. Don't go super, super heavy. It's late in the game. Twenties. Drive at the hips. Hinge at the hips. I'll show you from the side view. Stick your ass back. Head up. Shoulders pin back. Brace those abs a little bit in the knees. Butt moves back. Three more. Dump them. Ten push-ups! Oh yeah. We're almost 
almost done with this round four already. Alrighty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And for the record, we are doing peak free push-ups. Officially a push-up, even in the military, the Marine Corps, as long as your upper arm goes parallel to the floor, they count that as a push-up. But we go above and beyond. We literally touch our chest to the floor every rep. Also, our feet have to be together touching. Even just a few inches apart makes them significantly easier. So we literally have done every push-up, feet together touching, heel to heel, toe to toe, chest touching the floor, and full extension of the arms at the top. Try out some peak freak push-ups. See how that works out for you. Bicep curls. Going back to alternating. We are going to 25 each arm. So last set. Three, three, four, four. Pumping out the arms for the rest of the day. Six. So that pump will ride the wave. Seven. Eight. 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 Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Don't rock your body. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. We're going to 25 Six. each arm. Ten more each side. Sixteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. 19. 20, 20, 21, 21, 22, 22, 23, 23, 24, 24, 25, 25. Easy stuff. Let's set a push up for this round. We are doing so with the abs. Don't think you're off the hook. Let's do it. 10 push ups. Bang that shit out. Alright, Briggs, that's the end of round four, but not the end of the freaking workout. What we're gonna do here is some, some abs, some basic ab stuff, but it's gonna be flipping. We're still sticking with our 10 sets of push ups. So we've done so far four rounds times 60. We've done 240 push ups mixed in with 24 sets of dumbbells in about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Give yourself a freaking slap on the ass for that one. How about that? And then, we're about to just finish off some abs. So we're gonna flip. We're gonna do 10 sets of push-ups, flip over, set of abs. Flip over, 10 sets, 10 push-ups, and abs to finish off, to burn things out. Take a couple of seconds, stretch, recover, and get your ass down on the floor. Shouldn't be sharing this bit, so. Our goal here, we did 240, so we're going to do six sets of crunches, six or six sets of abs, which means six more sets of 10 push-ups to go out with a fucking bang. So that's going to make us at an even 300 push-ups throughout this workout. Think about that. If, you, if you've been sticking along, you've been doing this with us, give yourself some freaking credit. You're doing more here in this workout than most people do their whole week working out. We've already done 24 sets of dumbbells, which means 24 sets of push-ups, which means 240 push-ups. And we're about to do six more. Think about that shit. So it'll end up being 30 sets, 30 sets of an exercise and 30 sets of push-ups within this 60 minute workout. And that include, that's faster than a minute per set. You think about it because we warm up in the beginning with the bands and the other stuff. All right, let's do it. So if we're done, so if we're done with the front, I know I'll be at 240, but then I'll be at 6, 6, This is the eight, final round. Five, you've, been, you've been doing 10 most of the rounds, too, once you got warmed up, right? Uh -huh. Second round, third round. Even though Freak Show is doing 10 push-ups around, and real push-ups, peak Freak push-ups. Oh, come on. What? Apple. Facebook says session expired, which means I won't be able to download that. Facebook just cut out on us.